today we're going to talk about how would you find the mass of something that you don't want to put directly onto this yucky scale or the mass of water that um, if you were to pour it on the scale then you can't you know then transfer it to something else without some water getting stuck on there so if you want to be accurate you're going to have to use another container so the first thing you would do is to take your container like in this case a beaker you find the mass of that beaker So after you got the balance to line up with zero, you add up the bars and you say, okay, well, 29.7, between 0.7 and 0.8, how many lines over is it? Well, it's not quite to 0.75, so it's gonna be 0.74. 29.74 grams is the mass of the beaker So now that I have the mass of the beaker alone, I can add the liquid or whatever it is that I wanted to find the mass of that I didn't want to put directly on the scale. And now I will find the mass again and then be able to subtract the mass of the beaker from the mass of the water. Here is the new mass of the combination of the beaker and the water in the beaker you will see that the mass is 59.7 and it's a little bit more than 0.75 but a little bit less than 0.8 how many lines over two more lines beyond 0.75 so it's 59.77 grams now a good way to check your answer is that i added 30 milliliters of water 30 milliliters of water should weigh right about 30 grams because one milliliter of water should weigh about one gram. Um, that's not always going to come out perfectly and that's due to the uh, inaccuracies within the instrument but a um, perfect value is one milliliter of water weighs one gram. And it's useful for checking your work. This process I just showed you is called finding the mass of an object by subtraction. It's a very useful technique, not only for finding the mass of water, but for finding the mass of salt or anything else that you would not want to put on a contaminated surface or that you want to be able to carry with you to your lab station. Normally in a classroom, there's limited number of balances and kids are sharing them. So you don't want to have to wait for somebody to clean out the pan while um, other people are waiting. So it's, it's nice if you have something in a cup or a beaker that is easily transportable. You weigh it and then you can walk away and someone else can use the instrument. Have a good day.